It looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Ugh! Kuya came out the cut like this. <laughs> looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Sugar Happy Havoc 1. Dangan Rompa, there it is. Alright, let's get right to it. Chapter 4, the beginning of Chapter 4. Sayaka, we're looking at you a little strange right now. And I believe that it is free time. So let's see, leave the area, yes indeed. How y'all doing today? Welcome back to some more of this Dangan freaking Rompa. Okay, okay. So now we have access to the fourth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. Maybe this time we'll find some kind of clue. No, this time I have to find it. Okay. I have, this is the girl's bathroom. Okay, I'm not gonna go in there. What about the men's restroom? Women's and men's. Women's and women's and men's. Women's and men's. Okay, the data lab. Interesting. Rattle, rattle. No good. The door is locked. I guess I won't be getting in here. According to the nameplate, this is called the data center. But what's behind the door is a total mystery. I feel like we're getting closer to the end of the game. Look at the look at look at the ground. We're walking on a big ass I don't know CPU drive. What the hell is that? Big ass block of RAM on my floor on my feet. A ram on my feet, keep my cipher complete. Stop it. Yeah. I'm glad this floor got opened up and all, but there's like a ton of locked rooms up here. All right, hero, thank you for that. 4B, okay. Hello, I'm Monokuma from the school, school, the school store. I'm very kind, gather- What? Monokuma, I'm gonna come on bullshit with that one. I'm done with you, sir. Nothing to talk about. We are not friends. We are not the same. I am a... The Headmaster? The nameplate on the door says Headmaster's Room. The Headmaster's Room. There must be something worthwhile in there. Huh? The door's locked. Damn it. We knew that was happening. The office. Interesting. All these damn doors. Oh, this is open though. What's in the office? I need a friend that's in the office. Of course there's not. This is the office. But of course there's no hint of any teachers that we'd normally be able to rely on. Look at that picture with Hifumi in it now. Oh my gosh. Huh? There's a picture on the floor. This picture. They're all kicking it. Even Sayaka from first from the first one. The first okay. So they die and then they get released. I got my own suspicions about what that is, but I'm gonna keep it to myself to the very end. What? Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka. The smiling faces of the three people who are dead now. A classroom without metal plates over the windows. It's exactly the same. Yeah, bro. It's just like that picture I saw before. There's no way this isn't important somehow. They're smiling the way you'd expect any normal teenager to smile. Just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal life. Hifumi looked like a smooth walrus. I can't get over that. I can't possibly believe they were able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. So does that mean this picture was taken before they ever came to Hope's Peak? Which would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here? Including Sayaka? No, there's no way! Manakuma did it! It must be fake! <laughs> You're fake! Fake bitch! Manakuma popped up out of nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. <laughs> a forgery plot? What are you, a middle schooler? You think that moon landing was fake too? Come on! Then you're saying this picture is real? Hey, um... If there was such a thing as a Nobel Truth Prize, I'd take first 
second hand forklifts. Too bad. Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question. Is the picture real or is it fake? Hmm. Oh, Mikado. Hold up, bro. Let me make sure my audio recording. There we go. You're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? Hey, um... But it's no use. It's just no use. If you try to split something that you can't split, you're letting them feeling like you're the one being split. It's true. The picture is real. No more, no less. <laughs> Without another word, Monokuma disappeared. So the picture is real? It's really real. If that's true, if that's the case... What? Tell me your thoughts. The f Finish, finish your statements. Okay, okay, relax. There's a flower on the desk. Somehow it makes things feel that much weirder. I'm not finna click every flower and get Chuck E. Cheese tokens. I have 252, that's ridiculous. Leave the area, absolutely, I'm out of here. Um, I don't think I've been. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I said, I don't think I've been. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I said, I don't. Okay. The chemistry lab. Where are my friends? Not the high ones. I mean, the ones that's, a, that's real smart. The bright ones. I'm like in, inside the room. The smell of medicine was oppressive. So this is the chem lab. I hope inhaling on this stuff doesn't do permanent damage. Oh, it's too late. Now you're in here. Full breathing. Full deep breaths. Hina and Sakura seem to be lost in a deep but friendly conversation. I need to find out what's going on with Sakura and the mastermind. But I can't while she's with Hina. Hey, Makoto. Huh? You need something? N no, it's nothing. Huh? You sure? Okay, then. Hmm. Sakura is lost in conversation with Hina. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is it, Makoto? Do you need something? N no, it's nothing. So then. Really? Well, okay. Uh, maybe I can, like, cause this, uh, an experiment gone wrong type shit? As what? It's a remarkably big shelf and it's stocked with all kinds of medicines. That's right. Listen, Mikado, listen! Just take a deep breath and calm down and listen to me! Uh, okay, Hina. Just chill out. <gasps> There's all kinds of stuff we didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, creatine. Okay. And what? They even have pro protein zyme X. Jim should never be that much of your life where you get excited over protein zyme X. Are you serious? Go drink some fucking water and call it a day. Let me chill. <laughs> What's that? Hey, a high quality protein drink. It's nothing like that cheap swill in the warehouse. It's connoisseur level. Uh, oh yeah. <sighs> This is amazing! It's a gold mine! Ah, my prayers have finally been answered! Time to load up some more prayers then! A gold mine, huh? Hmm. My balls is Hold up. There we go. So, are we gonna be able to get inside or no? It's a remarkably big shelf and it's stuck with all okay. kinds of medicines. Alright, we get it. We get it. I get it, I get it. Do I talk to you now? Hey, Mako. Mm, I'll come back later. There's still one more floor to go up. Oh, so the less students there are, the more rewards that you get. So it's almost like an extra incentive to not only play the game, but stay forever indefinitely. Okay, so let's try this music room. My nose itch. Menu now. Kyoko, this is the music room. It's hardly even a classroom. It's more like an actual concert hall. Kyoko, hey. what's the deal? You know, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think? So. About the secret room in the boys' bathroom. Ah. Uh, well, um, I did find the secret room, but as soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked by who? Well, they came from behind and I didn't have any time to react so I didn't see who it was And when I came to the mountains of files and documents were all gone I'm sorry, I know how important those were she like this nigga really just ruined my only clue my only lead. That's fine 
It's okay. I already saw what I needed to in there. I... And I have suspected the mastermind might come after you. What? You set me up? Because... When I discovered the room, the mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. They must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted you to see how the mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the mastermind actually knew about that room. It would seem... But to attack you and steal everything in the room? That must mean there was some unknown clue in there that could reveal the mastermind's identity. Then you knew I was going to get attacked. That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing though, right? After all, you're a boy. What does she mean by that? Now she assuming my gender, not only that, but being sexist in the meantime, but y'all always on me like, Belisa, you're a chauvinistic pig and I can't stand your problematic ass. But when she do it, it's all good. Y'all kill me. What does she think a boy is? Fine, I understand. And then he just, his, his, his own fragile masculinity won't even allow him to ask her the question. He's all like, yeah, you're right. I had it. Nigga, you got knocked out cold. Then let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said, you must not leave. Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. Not here. Kyoko stole a quick gl glance at the surveillance camera. So... I'm looking into it. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking, but it was clear I wouldn't have any say in the matter. So then... So, now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? Hm. Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding something. Am I wrong? Ooh, what does she know? Th that's... How did I forget about this one? What? This is my only secret. What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Um, well... Do I get to choose anything in this? Hey. We're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? You're right, there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but... There's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have evidence for her and they let me choose! She one of the smartest people in the game. <laughs> you can you, uh, tell her everything. I don't even know anything. I just saw them talking. Let's see, though. I haven't found any conclusive evidence yet. If I talk about it now, it could just make things that much worse. Friends shouldn't keep secrets, but there's nothing worse than expressing... No, tell her. Tell her. Oh. Sorry, I can't tell you. N not yet. Correct. So, that's your answer. However... But do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, but now you're unwilling to share. Oh, I'll be right back. That's fine. Goodbye. With those as a parting words, Kyogo left me standing there alone. I think I made her mad. I've already taken a good look at things around here. There's a lot to think about, but for now I should head back to the dining hall and talk to the others. Bruh. How was I supposed to get her by herself, though? Not long after- oh, I wanted to tell her! Is that the only time? Not long after I got to the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. And after a few minutes... Hmm. So, is this everyone? Well, then. Okay, let's discuss what we all discovered. Hmm. Yeah, good idea! She, she didn't sound too happy about that. Yeah, good idea. She didn't discover a thing. Sakura, we need to talk huh. right now. Metal sheets had been attached to all the windows on the fourth floor. None of them budged an inch. In other words... Just like everywhere else. Mm. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. Hero, mm. what you got? I found a couple rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center in the headmaster's room. Ah! The headmaster's room? That sounds like exactly the kind of place we find some clues. If we can somehow unlock the door and get inside. But... Who cares about a stupid lock? How about that? It should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door. <laughs> what was that? What? What? Pum, pum. No, please continue. <sighs> Did you say I've got the nicest butt on the block? The curviest hips in town? Is that what you said? The heck? 
Hell no, I didn't! Hey! Then Come what on did now. you say? Because I know you weren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room! <laughs> Unbelievable. Knocking down your headmaster's door? What kind of war on education are you trying to start here? Your teacher had such faith in you. That's and this is how you repay me with betrayal? Okay, you got that one. You seriously don't want to piss me off? You have any idea how much bacteria lives on a single bear claw? Uh um, no, I was I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. Damn it! I'm not mad. What? What? You're totally mad. This is kind of depressing. I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if you're going to go around having those thoughts, Ta -da! I have no choice but to add to the school regulations. Seriously? Too bad. Breaking down a locked door is prohibited. There! That's a rule now, you jerks! The new rules have been added to the regulations menu. <sighs> Is he gone? <sighs> oh, man, I was scared for my life. I was sure he was gonna kill me. For serious. Well, but if he would go out of his way to make up a rule like that, there's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the headmaster's room. Well, duh, it's the headmaster! But now, that's a but. Now that it's a rule, there's nothing we can do. Kyoko knows what's up. She knows what's up. I'm finna ask her next. Sorry, Hannah, one second. Um, Kyoko? She's ignoring me. So, um. Hey, Mikado, does Kyoko seem upset to you? That's right! She is, isn't she? She's totally mad! Y yeah, it looks like it. Get out of my face, big tits. What's your deal? I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. Oh, this is bad. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There was a big shelf in the chem lab on the fourth floor and it had all kinds of chemicals and stuff. Okay. And there was an all-star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. You should at least go take a peek. I highly recommend it. <sighs> I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones interested in stuff like that. Ogre? Mm. Damn. Oh, but it's not all good stuff, though. There was medicine and health stuff, but on top of that, um, there was also um, a bunch of different poisons. P poison? Mm. They were all labeled clearly, though, so it would be hard to grab one by mistake. It's true. Still, we'd better make sure we're careful around there. Um, and we probably shouldn't tell Kuya or Togo that the poison about the poison, right? Huh? What do you mean? Well... Just in case. You know what I'm trying to say? Uh, um... J just in case... Oh. Yeah. I think you're right. However... It's Kuya. It won't be long before he's discovered it for himself. But to put something as dangerous as poison right out in the open? That's absolutely the work of the mastermind. Mm. So, has everyone said what they need to say? Hmm... I think so. For serious. But it looks like nobody found any clues at all, let alone a way out of here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Shut the f up, dude. I haven't been this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone. <sighs> Do something to cheer me up. <sighs> Damn, the viewers just gave Hero some, some kush. Come on, y'all, do better. Um, can I say something? How about that? It's cause my dad was smoking in bed. That's, no, I have something I'd like to report. So, you guys all remember, right? You remember when I found that picture up on the third floor the other day? Perhaps. You mean the one that showed Mondo, Hero, and Leon all together, right? Huh? Yeah, I remember what about it. Well, I found another one. Another picture. Almost just like that one. Huh? An another one? No DJ Khaled? But this time, the picture was of Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka. Huh? And they were all smiling. 
And the classroom in the picture didn't have any metal covering the windows. Ugh. So the picture of Mondo, Hero, and Leon wasn't the only one. Now you found the one that had Celeste, Hifumi, and Saya and Sakai. So who? Sakaya, that's a typo. Y'all niggas need to get y'all shit together. Uh, what's what's this dude name who make this Spike tune soft? Come on, Spike. But but how can that conspiracy? Monokuma must have faked it. But if the picture is real, then everyone who was in it, there would have to be some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. What? Can't be. It's a fake. But Monokuma said it was real. I know we could just write that off as a lie, but... So then. Then you trust Monokuma's word over the people who have died? Huh? Because... That's what you're saying, isn't it? Okay, I see what she's trying to do. I see what she's trying to do. So she's mad about the fact that I don't have a clue about Sakura's deal with Monokuma. They was in the, they was in the gym squabbling. I don't know what that means yet, Kyoko. I can't tell you anything yet. So because she thinks that I'm withholding information, she's going to try and turn everybody against me right now with some Jedi mind trick bull. She know how to play the game. They need her on Big Brother. No, that's not it. <laughs> I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refused to do the same. Th that's not what I'm... What's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emotional? I don't understand why she's so angry. Look at the smile on her face. Hey, come on. Stop fighting, or all your good luck is going to float away. Anyway, Mikado, you're thinking about it too much. There's no way Monokuma didn't fake that picture. Of course. He's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokuma has to say. Y y you might be right, but still. Are you still so conflicted? Who is that? What? It looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Ugh! Kuya came out the cut like this! <laughs> so it looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Where were you at this whole time? I thought you was in a library drinking drinking an iced latte and reading a book to, to uh, Toko. To Toko Ku. Kuya! <laughs> you know he in the library smashing that out. There's no way she's acting like that and he ain't supplied no pipe. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Listen to this song. Ugh. This song go hard. Look at this song. Look at my dong. It's long. Whoa. Okay. You all have the same sunken look on your faces. You were all so ugly before. You shouldn't let them sink any lower. <laughs> when I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking into a pile of manure. Damn. You know? Sorry. Just a second. Why are you apologizing? What the heck? Leave us alone. You're not a part of this. That's right. That's true enough. Your problems aren't mine. We are, and always will be, completely separate. So whatever's causing your face to turn so ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me. And if I happen to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Huh? Huh? Did he finally just say something useful? Hey. Kuya, what have you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do you some good. Such ignorance. I was in the bath. What else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? He was taking a bath? Is he saying he's been talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? It would seem... Maybe we should all go take a bath. Mm. Uh, good idea. Hmm. A mixed bath? <laughs> this shit heating, heating up. Heating up no sauna room. I said it. When I got to the dressing room, Toko was sitting alone on the bench, the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come here? What Alter Ego has to say to? What's your problem? I, I already heard it with m Master. <laughs> with <laughs> Master? Oh. You don't have to keep saying it. Anyway, so what are you doing right now? <laughs> Shut up. Stop bothering me. How about that? 
Get out of the way! We have to talk to Alter Ego! Well... N no I, I made Master a promise! Mm. A promise? <laughs> Master told me we'll wait here, so that's what I'm doing! Huh? What are you, his dog? <laughs> if that's what <laughs> Master wants, I'd do anything he, he asks. Even if that means put in my hand and throw it into my mouth and woof as if I enjoyed it and I was talking to myself because dogs like to sniff ass. You just love being mistreated. Some <laughs> girls do. W well, fine. If you really want me gone, by all means. <laughs> Ew. What, 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 what? Hey, guys, what's going on? <laughs> um, we'd like you to move. Yes! Sure thing, just kneel before me and beg. What? what? First a mega masochist, now a super sadist? Move. Genocide Jack is sitting in front of the laptop. I can't get to it. If you don't move... Um, Toko, seriously, I'm asking you nicely to let us use the laptop. What? 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 You SOB! Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel before me and beg! How about that? Come on, Mikado, give her the whole one-two combo. One, drop to your knees. Two, besiege. Why are you acting like you're not a part of this? I was I was as desperate as I felt. Finally, I did kneel down in front of her and I said, please, I'm begging you. Will you please let us use the laptop? <laughs> oh, I'm on fire. Such an ultra miraculous feeling of happiness. All my pent up anger at Master for abusing me is evaporating! Oh. So even you realize it's abuse. Hey. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> the f out of my face with all that. Not trying to hear all that. You're really cool. Everyone, come closer. I already told Kuya, but I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on this laptop. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. Correct. Just what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has come. Uh, um... I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I felt the same way. Resting on the keyboard, my hands had started to shake. Just a second. Move. The single word was like a sharpened blade. Wounded. I moved to let her take over. So then... Here we go. Kyoko began typing, the words appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? Oh, shit. Leave it to me. Sure. I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particularly important fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here. To isolate the students of Host Peak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stated goal of the plan. But it was meant to be much more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. Th that's... I see. It's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. Hey! It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was... None other than the administrators of Hope's Peak themselves. Huh? What? Wait, hold on! Then the reason we've been in prison here... It wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever. No way! It was the school itself? <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? Just a second. I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. That's right. It seems, they the re it seems that the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened one year ago. This is how they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? What does that mean? What? what? Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy, it was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, yeah. Hope's Peak Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is one year ago, this thing, this tragedy, took place, excuse me. And whatever it was, it forced Hope's Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. That's right. They plan to sequester the students here where they would live out the rest of their lives. So, um... But why would the Hope Speak administrators want to shut everyone in like that? Hey! And what could this tragic event have possibly been? 
In a flash, Kyoko had typed their questions into the computer, and the answer we got was, Sorry. I don't know. If that information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. I'm totally useless. I'm sorry. And that's all he said. What? What? Then, is this really the end? We get halfway through the answer, and that's it? Indeed. It would appear so. Disappointing. What? No. There's one other thing I forgot to mention. How do you forget anything? You're a computer, laptop, PC, you're Windows, you're not Apple. I think it might be important. I believe it has to do with the mastermind. The mastermind? Kyoko's fingers moved even faster than they had so far. Did you figure out the mastermind's identity? Oh gosh. That I still don't know, but I did find a clue, I think. The one leading the Hope's Peak staff. The one who finalized the plan to isolate you was the Hope's Peak Headmaster. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the Headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. The Headmaster? The Headmaster is here in the school? Okay. Then that's gotta be the mastermind! I mean, Monokuma's been calling himself the headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. For serious. But if we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? I... I'll find a way. Huh? Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. Look at her face, whoa! No matter what? So, um... Kyoko, what's going on? I... I can't explain why. I just know that I have to find him. She has to? Kyoko, what's going on with you? When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So then... We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. It seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure and she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. That's everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. Sorry. I'm really sorry. <sighs> then, it really is all over. Hey. Wait, Alter Ego seems to have more to say. So, um... um well, it's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. Um... I haven't seen Celeste, Hifumi, or Taka since yesterday. A heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clicking of keys as Kyoko typed. They're all dead. Huh? What? Um... I see. Certainly I knew that was a possibility, but... Okay, then. It really happened. Sorry. Sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway... Well then, I guess that's it. That's it. A simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job. Thank you. I see. I'm done. I guess I am, huh? Okay, then. Then maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kind of tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. Alter Ego! <laughs> With that, the laptop enters sleep mode. I see. So Alter Ego did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But... I feel kind of sorry for him. But... You feel sorry? But he's just a computer program, right? Well... I know, but still, he did everything he could for us, you know? Hmm. I mean, yeah, it did. But that's what a computer program is designed to do. You don't tell a computer, good job, every time you shut it down, do you? Maybe I should start doing my computer so it stops crashing and doing dumb shit. I'm sorry, Ironside Conqueror. Love you. Hmm. Well, no. But when we talk to Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way. I know what you mean. I feel the same way. 
Hey. Hey, come on. It's just a program. You can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? But you know, what's the difference between us and that program, really? Huh? Huh? I started thinking about how you would differentiate a person and in in an AI. Alter Ego isn't human, I know that. It's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. That's right! Yeah, he's no different from us. He's still our friend. Hmm. I think... <sighs> Maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> and there's no problem calling him friend. After all, the more friends, the merrier, right? Whoa. Why, why, why can't you just see right through these? It's a green bag of pistachio nuts. How about that? Check this out. Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gives value to survival. So... <laughs> Curved. So anyway... What? What? Don't so anyway that. It's a totally smart and cool thing that I quoted from uh, I don't remember where. Hey. Anyway, there's nothing more Alter Ego can do to help us. As such, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, but... Just a second. And frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who is and isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? Wait. The story's gotten off track. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, um... Yeah, good idea. What was that Hope's Peak staff thinking? What? 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 Why are they making us kill each other? Hmm... Alter Ego said that what happened said that what happened one year ago is what started everything. Well, yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. But did something like that really happen a year ago? Uh, um, I don't remember anything happening that you could describe that way. What about you guys? <laughs> I don't really watch the news, so I'm sorry. Nothing comes to mind. Anyway. That event led to the closing of Hope's Peak. At the very least. If nothing else, it must have had some kind of connection to this school. What? What? Maybe all the students here were killed or something. However. That kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. Would it be? Then maybe they covered it up. That would explain why none of us knew that the school had been shut down. I see. Totally covering up something like that. I suppose it's not totally impossible. What the heck? What's wrong with our government? Our taxes pay their salaries? They should be handling stuff like that. Anyway. Maybe. But right now there's only one path open to us. So? We have to find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Correct. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. No matter what? As long as we can get our hands on him, I think. Kyoko. When she said headmaster, I got that feeling again. Well. But even that is a problem not so easily solved. Hmm. Yeah, you're, you're right. So then. Well, our business is done here, so for now we should get out of here. Uh, um. Yeah, good idea. Yep. Then I... Uh. Huh? Huh? Is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean... <laughs> oh, n no, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not guarding it. <laughs> Kui is going to be so mad at me. <sighs> uh, she kind of liked that a little bit. Let's avoid getting involved any further. Uh, um... Good call. But as we left the dressing room, someone was right there waiting for us. Ba -bam, ba -bam. Uh -huh. It's making me angry! <laughs> You're not still mad about that whole breaking into the headmaster's room thing, are you? Bzz. Oh, that little matter doesn't matter even a little. I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying an indecent mixed bath, but that doesn't matter either. <laughs> it's building. I feel it building. Now I'm really angry. <laughs> I can't do that one, Ray. You got it. Please, D don't get so angry. Here, let me help center your chakra. Poom, poom. Etch this on the walls of your brain, okay? When you do something to me, I do it right back. <laughs> An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Huh? 
fang for a fang? <laughs> but be careful! He just chanted the incantation. But what? He just chanted the incantation of devast. He just chanted the incantation of devastation. Huh. No, it's just a saying. Hmm. Oh, I see. But what's he talking about? Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially soon the door. Okay then. Move. Correct. So it's nighttime. Hey. What does everyone want to do? Celeste was, Celeste was the one who suggested our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. Hmm. I think we should still avoid being out at nighttime. I know it'll make me feel better that way. Uh, um. I agree. It's true. Very well then. In that case, time for bed. So everyone headed back to their rooms. Monokuma's parting words left me feeling anxious the rest of the night. Once I was back in my room, I got lost in thought. What we learned from Alter Ego kept on spinning around and around in my mind. The administrators of Hope's Peak had planned all of this. They did it because of the tragedy which had happened a year before. And apparently the headmaster is the one behind it all. The mastermind. All these mysteries make me worry, but I still have to try and unravel them bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough. But I don't have any other choice. Damn. I gotta watch these back to see if they even connect. Let's talk a bit about where I was at before I became a bear. At first, I was a total loss. I just had no idea what I should become. A lady in our tech support department suggested I try being a shrimp. She was like, Oh, the company's been trying to push for this forever. It's a really incredible offer. But as she laid out all the details, it turned out it wasn't a tiger prawn like I'd hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. That's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp. I don't want to be one by, my, by myself. I don't want to be one myself. Plus, someone might come along and step on me. So then the lady totally started laughing at me. She was like, you think we could do a tiger prawn on our budget? So ultimately, I decided to become a bear instead. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. Thank you, Monokuma. Appreciate that one. It's always nice to get to know you. All your messed up, twisted ways. You sick panda snow bear. Panda snow bear. What? What are we talking about? Good. It's, it's morning. I know. It's morning. Chill out. First things first, I need to head to the dining hall. I feel like some bullshit is about to happen this next episode. I, I really do feel like that, but we'll see for ourselves. I don't want to say too much. Kyoko is doing me dirty though. Like, I get I get it. I don't know if I could have done anything differently. Maybe if I would have checked out one or two more rooms, I would have got some more clues, but uh, she was on some weird shit. But it's fine. We, we, we got to play the game, right? She playing it well. Makes me kind of wonder, should I even tell her to begin with when I do find out? Very interesting stuff, but we'll find out in the next episode. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up on it. Truly appreciate it. If you are new, please subscribe for more videos. And as always, I love each and every one of you. I got a burp, so I'm trying to hold it down right now. Yeah, you. And I'll see you in the next video. Ugh. Peace. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.